Love is gonna come my way to gentle clean. This I hope to find. Want something that's gonna last. I wanna live and forget the past. I know this change is gonna do me good. No, this change is gonna do me good. Even though it hurts me now, I know this change is gonna do me good. You gotta come to let me know. Don't hold it back now. Give me a sign. Put this something in the ground. If you dream, you know you should. I know this change is going to do me good. I know this change is going to do me good. Even though it hurts me now, I know this change will soon be. I know this change will soon be. Just a change in the way I'm feeling better, but it doesn't feel me. Live out of Flagstaff, Arizona, the Spiritual Image Productions on Block Talk Radio and FreeConferencing.com, and Ustream, establishing and maintaining relationships through human values. Aloha and welcome to tonight's Golden Age Psychic Show. Tonight um, we'll be doing a, a, a number of, of uh, readings with people, um, and uh, just to let you know that that uh, the, the people that that do these shows, um, they they don't come on. And do these, and they don't get paid to do these shows. It's a service. Uh, I don't make any money from these shows. <laughs> Again, it's a service to help people help themselves. Um, again, uh, <coughs> this this uh, show is typically every third Friday of the month. This show is a community-based outreach program to help people help themselves, reaching out to anywhere from well, anyhow, to several thousand people all over the world. This month. Um, we, we honor those who have passed on. Oh, <laughs> that's, that's an old description. Anyhow, uh, find out what a p potential famous pit, uh, person you may have been in another life or <coughs> any of your relatives with you in spirit form now. Is your knee, back, or arm injury related to some kind of karmic tie with your parents? What lies ahead of you now? Be brave and ask the questions. The answers may surprise you. Uh, so anyhow, <clears throat> tonight we have um, Reverend Marietta White, all the way out of New York with us. Aloha, Reverend Marietta. Aloha, Andrew. Aloha, everyone. And thank you for being here. Uh, Re Reverend Marietta uh, at W. Well, um, Mary, uh, uh, Re Reverend Marietta is a psychic medium, Christian spiritualist, pastor through a church of, ra of radiant light and through her practice at, um, at teachings by... Marietta. She brings her knowledge of the under and, and understanding of all that is and that can be. She is of the belief that we are like like a tiny snowflake that can become a snowball 
that can cause an avalanche of love and kindness. Marietta invites you to take the journey with, uh, with her. She has a class on mediumship as well as planned classes that have, in, that have included angels, beginning mediumship, reading, re reading your signs, symbolism, and more. And, excuse me, numerology. Um, Andrew Loho, myself, and I, um, our executive producer of Spiritual Image Productions, who, whose mission, goal, purpose is to establish and maintain right relationships with human bodies, <coughs> or to exemplify to others right, healthy relationships um, with ourselves and with each other. Andrew Loho, myself, and I have been counseling, coaching, mentoring for over 15 years. The astrology readings we do uh, are a Western or esoteric style of tradition. Western astrology readings are more personal, per, more personality or lower ego based uh, types of readings, while the esoteric readings are more uh, soul or true life purpose based um, types of readings. With the date for the latter being physically derived, uh, psychically derived, uh, past, present, and future are covered in both styles, while the whole reading is done with a psychic uh, intuitive emphasis as well. And um, you know what? I didn't even put in there, but well, I also include tarot, tarot card readings as part of the process as well. So anyhow, uh, we are <coughs> we're going to come back and do some readings here in a little bit. Um, uh, let me see who is what is so the song about? Oh. Okay, I w uh, uh, Aloha. I, I want to give a, a big shout out to Aloha J and um, and uh, also Eric Code Seven Eight Zero. We're going to be getting to you guys uh, uh, really sh shortly here now. Um, the name of the song that was playing is by David Young um, from his album um, uh, Channeling, Channeling George, I believe, and so. Um, the name of the song is called um, Aloha Jay. Why do you have to ask me such difficult questions? What are you funny? Okay, hang on a second. Time on. Um, oh, be the change you wish to see. Uh, again, by David Young from his album um, Channeling George, I believe. So, um, so anyhow, he's also got a book on uh, as well on Channeling George as well. So, just gotta tell you that. <clears throat> so anyhow. Before we get started, I just want to give a big aloha to all of our underwriters that help make this show happen from week to month, month to month, year to year, beginning with Maha Dikini Lore at www.mahadikini.com. Maha Dikini Lore's life <coughs> has been a personal journey exploring sexuality and spirituality for over 20 years. She's a certified tantric counselor and, and tantric healer and a certified mind sound teacher. Maha Dikini Lore is a, also a graduate of Margot Nong's Yolong Sky Dancing Conscious Facility Training Program, as well as a current member of the uh, Association of Sex Educators, Counselors, and Therapists Club, and a char charter member of the Association of Sexual Energy Professionals. She regularly attends trainings and conferences to keep current with the latest research and information on sexual education. And then we also have the 90 Day Ascension Journey. <coughs> At 90dayascensionjourney.com. Uh, when you sign up for the 90 day ascension journey, you will be facilitated with defining and redefining your soul through life purpose. You will be assisted with finding out what ascension means to you on this journey. You will be provided with tools, techniques, and assistance to empower you to connect and reconnect yourself, uh, your emotions and feelings, and your mind, body, and spirit. Through a universal soul center process, you will be going through a lifelong transformation that, um, um, that will allow you to move forward with your endeavors and never look back if you dare. And just to let you guys know, I do have, a, I, I did write the book version of this so, uh, to supplement the journey so it make it easier to, for people to understand what it is that's going on through the process. If you want to go to um, spiritualimageproductions.com, spiritualimageproductions.com, or 90 Day Ascension Journey, <coughs> com, <coughs> there, there's a, 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 a gift or a picture of the, of the book. You click on that, that'll take you to a page that'll even excerpt of the um, introduction in the first chapter if you want to read those and then um and or you can order the book there or you can order it from, <coughs> from Amazon or Kindle if you wish. So <coughs> it's like that. Now um if you order it from me, of course you get to get it autographed by me and then I send to you. <coughs> and then um finally we do have the nineteen the two thousand seventeen MUFON symposium at www.mufonsymposium.com. MUFON is the oldest and largest civilian UFO investigative organization in the United States. 
It has been de dedicated to finding the truth about UFOs through its mission of investigation, research, and education. This year, there are a number of speakers presenting at the MUFON Symposium, including Dr. Physicist and Dr. Um, PhD in Physicist uh, Jan Bradenberg, um, Jan, oh, John Bradenberg, I take it back, um, Dr. James Woodward, Michael Schrott, and, and Andrew Basaggio. Jan Har Harzen, director of MUFON, invites you to attend the MUFON Symposium uh, in Las Vegas, uh, Las Vegas, Nevada from the 21st to the 23rd of the July of this year and actively participate in the case for a secret space program. Then uh, make up your own mind if it is real or not. Again, <clears throat> if you want in, any more of the uh, in, any if, if if you missed some of this, this information and uh, you couldn't figure it out, <coughs> you can go to spiritualimageproductions.com. Spiritualimageproductions.com. On the right hand side, you can sign up for the email list. On the left hand side, you can scroll down to uh, the Golden Age Psychic Show, and there you will find a link that uh, will get you to the page where I was at. So we're going to go uh, get ahead and get started here now. <coughs> we're going to start out with. Uh, with uh, error code 780 and then go from there and then um, and then just kind of work, it, work with it. So, uh, uh, aloha error code 780, you're on the air. <coughs> it's Aloha J on the chat room. How's it going? Yeah, are, 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 you, are you Aloha J? Yeah. Aloha J, how in the heck are you? I'm going to myself. <laughs> Good, good. Um, what was that song? What's that? that song called before? Uh, it, it's by a guy, a, a guy by the name of uh, David Young. Have you ever heard of David Young? <coughs> no, I haven't. He, he, anyhow, he he's come out with several albums, and uh, the one that that in particular that that this song is called uh, from it, it's called "Be Be the Change You Will You Wish to See," and um, it, it, this particular album is called the 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 channeling George, and so <clears throat> you can uh you can always uh you, I mean you can always Google David Young and find him, and then again uh, uh find the song that uh, be the change you want you wish to be you wish to see, and then you you can grab it from there. So, so um Jay um are, are you opposed to giving us your birthday? Would you like part, partly? Uh, are, are you interested in doing a reading? <coughs> uh, yes. yes okay. Um, so to help us out, to help us organize our thoughts and, and be clear with with what uh, what what information needs to be put out to you, um, it, it's help. It helps if you give us your birth date. Are you okay with that? <coughs> yeah. Okay. Go ahead. Whenever you're ready. <clears throat> March 24, 1954. Okay. Now, was there a particular question you wanted to have answered, or, or you you just want a, a general reading type of thing? <clears throat> uh, particular um, question, please. Okay. So, what 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 what's your question? In regard to a, um, you know, looking for another job. Okay, career. Okay. Anything else? A career? Um, uh, relationship. Okay, relationship. Okay. Okay. That's a tall order, Jay. I hope you know that. I'm just kidding. I tell you what. Uh, so uh, hang on. Hang, well, I'll go ahead, Marietta. Uh, uh, Reverend Marietta, are you here? Yes, I am. Okay, good. Did you say your name is Jay? Jay. Jay. Okay. Uh, Jay, are you looking for a particular job? What is it to do now? More of a parts person. I can't hear you. What did you say? Uh, more of a parts person, a technician, so I'm just looking for maybe something a little bit different, maybe a parts job. Okay. Okay. 
Okay. And are you in a relationship right now? No. Okay. So you're looking to find out if you have a relationship is that in the future? Is that what you're looking for? Uh, yeah, we're in your future. I'm just uh, friends with somebody right now. We'll see how it goes. So. Okay. Okay. All right. Okay. Let's see if we can Thanks. get a good channel here. Um, I'm going to look a little closer. Okay. I feel you're going to get another job. It's going to be fairly soon. You're going to have a little bit of a wait. It's going to be a little hair raising. Uh, have you applied at two different places? I haven't applied yet because I'm going to be looking for um, something different. What happens is our current company uh, laid off about six people, and now they're really, um, they want to probably lay off. Another person off is going to be me. Okay. And uh, they, just don't, they just don't like me, basically. <laughs> well, they don't know what they're missing. Um, what I would look at, I, I feel like you're going to, if you haven't already done so, you're going to be applying at two different places. Both of them are going to consider you. Uh, the first one you apply at, I don't feel is the one you're going to get the job for. I feel like it's the second one. It is going to be a little different than what you're doing right now. They're saying you have a multi, um, a lot of skills that lay in different directions. So they're saying don't lock yourself into looking just for what you've been doing or even anything really similar. You can go in several different directions. So what they're saying is to really sit down and think of what you really would love to do and start actually reaching for that goal because it feels as though you've got some other things in the background that you would really like to be doing. Don't be afraid to try for those because I feel like you have a good chance of moving into something that works a little better for you, a lot more comfortable for you. This job doesn't feel to me like it's been very comfortable for a while. I feel like you've been under stress. No. So you need to look at what really, you know, turns you on, the type of thing you really want to do. Don't be afraid to try for it because I think you've got a good chance. Um, okay, I'm going to look at your relationship. Does that answer your question with, with the job? Yes, thank you very much. Yeah, very quick and thank you. Okay. Um, I want to go to the relationship. Okay. Um, I've got two things going on with you, so I'm just going to mention this to you. I have an elderly lady that keeps trying to come through. Do you have someone uh, on the other side that was elderly who's passed? Yeah. Well, grandmother. She keeps trying to come through and just saying that she loves you. Does that make sense to you? Yeah. Okay. Who is who is that? Is that a grandmother? <coughs> a grandmother and mother's side. <coughs> okay. She's definitely coming through. She kept trying to kind of, <coughs> I want to call it butting in. She kept poking her head in there as I'm trying to talk to you. Um, she says, stop worrying about relationships. They're going to come. She says, you don't have to worry. She says, things haven't always worked out for you in the past. She says, partly because you hadn't really looked at what you were looking for. She says, just <coughs> really thinking about what you want your future to look like. And when you do that, she says, then the right person will be drawn to you. She says, don't be afraid of uh, being on your own for a little bit because she says, you're very strong. She says, you don't need to have someone all the time. And she feels that it's going to be <coughs> uh, a few months before you're into a relationship that's going to work for you. Um, she's not really weighing in on the one you're looking at right now. Um, let me just see if I can pull her over to that a little bit. She's just <coughs> saying, she's just saying she wants you to go very slow, not rush anything. She says that that will make a difference for you because you need not to be in such a hurry. She, says she feels like you're kind of pushing things and she wants you to slow it down a little bit. Um, it looks like the person that you're looking at is a fairly decent person as far as she's not saying anything bad about her or anything like that, so that sounds okay. Um, she's looking at more so what she wants you to have is a future, so she's really focused on that, <coughs> that she wants you to know your future is going to be okay. That things will be a lot brighter. She thinks that that's going to start happening toward midsummer. Things are going to start improving for you, so she says don't get in a hurry. Take your time and you'll be fine. Do you want to ask her anything? <coughs> uh, not really. Um, I just gotta take it easy. It's like I'm alone right now. So, do all the things. 
And she says you've got a lot of things on your mind right now. <clears throat> it's one reason she wants you to take your time, because she says you've got a lot of things that have been running through your head. She says your thoughts have been racing sometimes. She wants you to just kind of slow everything down, relax. She says get outside and enjoy yourself a little bit. And she says as you do that, <clears throat> things will brighten up for you. And she's saying she loves you very much, and she wants you to know that she she is with you in, in the hard times. No, thank you. Does that answer your question? <coughs> it's, it's always great to have help on the other side. <laughs> well, she's there for you. She's definitely there for you. She didn't even want to take no for an answer when I was talking. So, uh. so um, she just thinks she loves you. She'll be there for you. So now let me ask you this, um, uh, Jay. The women that you've been involved with in the past, <clears throat> have they been ca Caucasian women? Yes. Yes? And, but, uh, and what's your heritage, if you don't mind me asking? <clears throat> it's Oriental. Okay. So, because <clears throat> um, I see some, some blonde in the midst, uh, in your midst. I don't know who she is. She's really cute. You're, um, and um, the women that you've been out with uh, typically typically have been like uh, uh, beauty queen model type of women. Is that correct? <coughs> uh, not really, but this person actually is a person that interests uh, a person to describe as who. Um, Sort of being right now, so sort of just and you know, we're just friends, but we're just uh, spiritual friends. Okay. Right <clears throat> and sometimes what happens is, uh, uh, and I don't know if she's a soulmate or twin flame or both, but sometimes what happens is, uh, you know, you 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 can't just, just like Marietta, uh, Reverend Marietta, is saying, you can't just rush into stuff and expect everything to be there. Um, so what's happening is, um, you know, if you're going to be together not only this lifetime but other lifetimes, why are you in a hurry? Yeah, <laughs> you got plenty of time to get to know each other. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, lots, lots and lots of time. And so there's no reason why you should just, just, just jump in and and, and get things going. Now sometimes people um, get in a hurry because they're scared and. You know they don't want to be by themselves the the whole you know for the rest of their lives and whatever else. <clears throat> so um so th so they 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 want to go ahead and get them married right away or whatever. So um now um your sun sign is in Aries, your Mercury is in Aries, your Jupiter is in Aries. You you've been going through a lot of crap for a, for a few years now, haven't you? Especially uh, what was it last year or the year before? Yeah, sure. Right. <clears throat> <clears throat> yeah, you you uh, you have your uh, and, and error code six four six. I want to thank you for stopping by. Your next um, uh, now. Have you ever heard of the seven year itch? <clears throat> uh, yes, I have. Okay. You have. Um, well, the seven year itch um, uh, is, is, and I'm just going to tell you real, real quick. Usually, uh, there's a couple. They start arguing and uh, and uh, and argue and argue and argue for about seven years, and literally, uh, when Jupiter or Uranus goes into the next sign, literally on that the next day they stop arguing. In fact, it's, it's just like that. Um, so, <clears throat> with you, um, <clears throat> um, Uranus has been in Aries. For several okay. years, years now, and so it's been affecting you. You've been going through all this processing about rebe literally has to do with re rebelliousness and authority, and um, you, you, um, you, you, you're, 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 try you're processing all this through, and uh, I believe here. Let me check to double make sure, but I believe next year um, Uranus is going to go into another sign. And when that happens, whenever it happens, whether it be next year or wherever, you're going to be you're going to be in a lot better shape, uh, um, Jay. Things are going to are, are mellow are going to mellow up for you, and you're going to be able to move forward 
in a much, much better way. Does that make sense to you? <coughs> Yes, sir. Okay. Uh, hang on a second. Uh, uh, I take it back. March two uh, two thousand nineteen. Um, Aries, uh, uh, Uranus is going to go into Taurus, <clears throat> and then you're going to go through another uh, seven year itch. I hate to tell you that with relationships. So uh, you you probably are are going to be involved in a relationship right about then, like a meaningful relationship. So, um, just like Reverend Marietta said, just take your time because <clears throat> the relationship that you're going to be involved in is probably not going to happen until March 2019. I can almost guarantee you that. And this woman, she's going to be really cute. She's going to be a, a very stubborn person. Uh, she's going to be a beauty queen type of a person. And I, I, it might even be this blonde girl. I don't know. She's got uh, she's got curly hair. Curly, curly uh, wavy hair, uh, blonde, blonde hair. Is that correct? <clears throat> I'm not sure. Well, this person has blonde hair, but it's it's wavy, yeah. You know, oh, it is wavy. So, yeah. Okay. Well, the the one that I'm talking hair. about, um, and maybe it's somebody else. I don't know. But this person, she's she's not really. Uh, she's kind of petite in a way. Um, she's got a wavy, wavy cur kind of curly hair. Uh, it's it's you know it it's not short it's it's down to her maybe uh, to her shoulders at least to her shoulders and um <clears throat> I don't know she she reminds me of a lion lioness right so it's like that so it's like a she's got this mane uh, around her head so anyhow um it's gonna be like that um you you're you're gonna uh <clears throat> you're gonna finish up this thing with 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 um with uh, Uranus and Aries, now you you never you 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 didn't really have a, a really really easy up, upbringing. Is that is it safe to say that, Jay? <clears throat> Pardon me. Pardon me. Did you not did you not have a, a really uh, uh, um, easy upbringing? No, it wasn't easy. Okay, I didn't think so. Now I, I can tell you right now that as you become more spiritual. And I'm not. I'm not just saying religious. Religious is all about devotion to something or another, or someone or another. Um, but as you become more relig uh, spiritual and find your own truth, things are going to get easier for you, Jay. Not incredibly easier, but they are going to be easier. Does that make sense to you? <clears throat> okay. And so now, um, the type of work. Um, you're, you're working as a technician right now, is that correct? <clears> oh, <throat> uh, yes. Oh, I just remembered. Um, the woman that you're, you're going to be wanting to find, that you're going to be looking for, is probably going to be a, a school teacher, an elementary school teacher, believe it or not, Jay. A what? An elementary school teacher. School teacher? <clears throat> yeah. Have you, ever, have you ever hung out with school teachers at all? <laughs> All right. Well, anyhow, I don't know how that's going to come about. That's up to you. <clears throat> but we're going to go like this, um, Jay. Um, we're going to go ahead and 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 um, and you, you you said you're a technician. Is that is that what I heard you say earlier? Yeah. Okay. So uh, and, and you're looking for another job, or you're looking to expand, or what? What do you? What is it that you're looking to do? I'm looking for another job. Okay. Um, if you want to tap into the stuff that you're, you're so, because I, I went ahead and put together your soul chart, not just your personality chart. The soul chart is, is the day that the, is the, the, the day that the soul comes in connects with the fetus, which is typically about three to four weeks after the day of conception. And the, the personality chart is the day you came out of the womb. So it's more about your ego stuff. Uh, mo most people outgrow. The, the personality chart between the ages of 18 through, or, or, um, yeah, 18 through 25, they go through a plateau, and they're around 8, 28, 29 years old, they start living out the true life or soul life purpose stuff. So um, <clears throat> you've been living out your soul life purpose stuff for quite some time, Jay. And um, so um, and if you really want to tap into the stuff that, that, that you're, you're, you've, met, you've been 
sent here to do as a soul, it has to do with Virgo. Your sun sign is in Virgo, your moon is in Aquarius, your Venus is in Virgo, your uh, Saturn is in Aquarius, retrograde, uh, Mars is in Libra, Jupiter is in Aries, retrograde. And then um, and then Uranus is in Virgo, Neptune is in Scorpio, and, and your Pluto is in Virgo, and then your North Node is in Cancer. So, <clears throat> your destiny has to do with nurturement, nurturing people, um, Jay. And so, uh, I'm not sure if that would mean becoming a nurse assistant or a mentor or a counselor or something like that. Now, I don't know. Have you ever thought about doing stuff like that? <clears throat> <clears throat> Jay? Yeah, I, uh, I just feel that um, right now I feel really um, like stressed out at work because um, they're really watching me right now. So. Got it, got it. So, um, <clears throat> have you... Have you got a resume put together and, and started do, doing some searching around for different jobs? Uh, it's going to update it basically and start looking. Yeah, you might want to do that, Jay. You might want to update your resume and then just kind of start posting it around to different places. Um, uh, to, you know, to different, uh, there's different places online. There's places in your community. Now, where, now, where, where do you live at? Where, where, what community do you live at? <clears throat> what community? Uh, oh, where do you live at? Well, I live in. Well, I live in uh, Western Canada. Oh, oh, you live in Canada. Okay. Um, yeah. Um, yeah. go to your lo local uh, um, uh, um, job job placement places. Um, turn in your resume and just just look around. Uh, I wouldn't rush uh, in terms of finding a place. Or a, 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 um, um, a, a new job, but but look around and start setting up um, 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 uh, interviews. That's what I would do if I was you, and then um, and then see if something comes up. Um, I I can almost guarantee you you have Lib yep you have Libra in your soul chart. Um, around around June second, Jupiter is going to go direct. It's been excuse me, it's been a, a retrograde. For several weeks now, since February, the beginning of February, and that 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 really threw a lot of people off, including myself. <coughs> but um, but um, in um, in on June second, it's going to go direct, and I have a feeling that you, like myself, uh, as soon as that happens, things are going to shift for you, and you're going to be able to find things a little bit easier to work with. Does that make sense to you, Jake? <coughs> Yeah. Okay. So um, what I'm gonna do right now is I'm I'm I'm, put, I'm doing a spread on on your on your reading here now a tarot card spread uh, future uh, present past and then the outcome is what I'm doing um, now <clears throat> it looks like um. You, you, within the last year, especially fall of last year, um, you were disappointed. Things didn't seem to, to go as planned, it looks like, or things got uh, <coughs> shifted for you. And um, but you, you, you were also um, uh, working with stuff that, that, that maybe wasn't um, a, 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 a real for you, things that, were, that weren't... <coughs> weren't um um you, you, you were like basically you you weren't being real with yourself i believe is, is a good safe thing to say is it is that safe to say that jay for you for you <clears throat> yeah. what's that yeah okay You're right about that. okay You're right so about that, yeah. you you were making decisions based out of possibly fear or um um, probably fear, but but anyhow, um, there was a, a there was a balance of power that took place, and things shifted around for you last year, and then now, <clears throat> now you feel like things are are starting to come come to come to fruition, 
uh, you feel more accomplished than, than you did before. Uh, things seem more more balanced for you and more uh, loving and kind for you. Is it safe to say that? Well, um, <clears throat> well, I, I, I'm also there's also a uh, I'm also picking up a card that that says that that you were you, know, you you've been involved in a friendship that's not been <clears throat> <clears throat> very clear and um, what's that? Are you okay? Yeah, yeah, no, I, I'm going. I'm, this is part of the February thing that happened to me. I I ended up in the hospital with pneumonia and the flu, and I'm still processing that. that. It, it was oh. a pretty serious case. I was in uh, I was in intensive care for for a week, and then I'm still even now I'm still working on getting off the oxygen. And right and tonight I'm I'm not I'm not working with the oxygen. Oh so, wow! <clears throat> so <clears throat> I'm trying to 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 work with, with work with it. So anyhow, um, uh, thanks for asking. Uh, um. So there's there's been some some uh, boundaries maybe that you might want to set with this friend friend. There's a friend one one or two friends that that are you you've been around and and um, you you um, you haven't been uh, 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 clear with with the the friendship. The friendship hasn't been very uh, um, healthy for you. I believe is a good a safe way to say it. So uh, is, is that is that true? Is that true enough? <clears throat> Uh, I don't have any friends, so I do, uh, yeah, I don't have very many friends, like close, close friends that can go and talk, so. Got it, got it. Um, so what, what's getting ready to happen, Jay, is that, um, you, you are, you're going to be prosperous within the next several months. Um, <clears throat> let me hang on a second, let me check one thing real quick. We got, within the next several months, you are going to come into uh, um, some abundance. It looks like, um, yeah. Uh, between now and August, September, October, you're gonna you're gonna be uh, you're gonna um, you're gonna have money to spend. Uh, but but you're gonna you're, you're gonna want to. Uh, spend, spend that wisely. Uh, really be conscious about how you spend it, because if if, if you don't do that, Jay, then it's going to come back and bite you in the, in the butt. Does that make sense to you? <clears throat> yes, okay. So, um, uh, do you do you do you do any kind of spiritual practices at all, Jay? Meditation or prayer or both or uh, walking or working out or anything like that. Yeah, good. Uh, meditation and uh, yoga right now. Okay, good. Yeah, the yoga is good. Um, so you're gonna really, really want to focus on those things. Um, uh, because otherwise it's gonna. Uh, let me see. We're, we're still in the spring uh, until June 21st. Um, so for the next few weeks, it it, it's, it might get a little bit more intense. So um. So you're going to want to really, really uh, focus on 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 taking care of you. Does that make sense to you? That makes sense. Yeah. Okay. So if, as long as you work with that, um, there's going to be a woman. She's going to be like a businesswoman type of woman person <clears throat> that's going to come into your life. If she's uh, if she's not already in, in your life now. She likes to wear red or, or dark, deep orange, um, orange red, um, and she's a brunette with hair down to her, her waist. Um, if you haven't already met her, you're going to meet with me, her, and you're going to be working with her, um, and uh, on a business, on import export business type of thing. Um, so I don't know if, if you've ever thought about doing an import export business type of thing, uh, but that might even be a possibility. Uh, that you might be able to do on the side, or instead of instead of what you're doing now, that might be a, a possibility of something that you can do instead of what you're doing now. Does that make sense to you, Jay? <coughs> uh, uh, sort of. I'll we'll see how it goes with that. <laughs> okay. So, um, so there's there's a couple things I want to do before we sign off with you, Jay. 
and uh, and then we're gonna go we're gonna we're gonna uh, we're gonna go to the next step. But um, um, first of all, for all of you that that um that are interested in, in uh, participating with this, uh, I'd like to do a, a karma clearing. We're gonna do a karma karma clearing, cords and ties clearing, <clears throat> so that 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 will uh, at least remove or get some obstacles out of your way. So that you guys can go forward with doing whatever it is that you want to do in life, and then, um, and then we're, uh, I'm not sure. Uh, oh, I know. We'll do the immersion program. I'd like to do the immersion program because that way it'll tap you into the stuff that you can really do um, the best, the things that you're really good at. It'll 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 get you connected with that so that you can start doing them on on a regular basis or more intent basis, or focus basis, anything else. Are you okay with that, Jay? Yeah, I'm okay with that, yeah. Okay. So we're going to start out with the karma clearing and cords and ties clearing. And then uh, for all of you, and, and, and Jay, you included, if you're interested in participating with this, um, put one hand on, on your heart. That, that signifies to the universe that you're accepting uh, of, of this program. I just call these programs. Some people call them prayers. The affirmations, uh, treatments, I mean, all sessions, I mean, all kinds of stuff. I just call them programs. So if you're, uh, you're accepting of, 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 of this program, this gift I have for you, uh, just put one hand over your heart and then, uh, and then we'll go from there. And g just give me a couple minutes and then we'll come back and then go into the immersion program. Are you, are you good with that? You, re uh, you good with that, Jay? <clears throat> sure. Okay, here we go. Give me a couple of minutes. And, and by the way, um, for those that will be listening to this afterwards, after the fact, uh, if you want to participate on, on uh, with the same um, program, uh, again, put one hand over your heart, and uh, and I'm going to set it up the program so that way anybody that, that listens to this afterwards can also participate. So here we go. Let's try this again. <clears throat> <clears throat> okay, Jay, did you feel anything from that? Moment, so I'll probably get it after. <laughs> well, no, yeah. Do, uh, do, do you feel more relaxed, more peaceful at all? I usually have the after effects. Okay. Oh, okay. Well, no, it, it doesn't matter. Uh, uh, there, there was some clearing that I picked up, and I don't know, maybe in some, some some of the other people, but uh, but I did pick up some stuff that were cleared from that. So um, that's okay. Now the next program that I'm gonna do. Again, for all of you that wish to participate, put one hand over your heart. I'm going to do what you call the immersion program, where I connect you, I integrate you, I immerse you with all those other uh, future selves, of a uh, future part of yourselves, excuse me, and also past that are much better at being, uh, um, being who you are, being, uh, being, and, uh, being a salesperson or being a manager or supervisor. Now, uh, ultimately, one of your one of your skills is 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 uh, being a a good supervisor, uh, being someone that's in charge, Jay. So I just want to let you know that. All right. <clears throat> so <clears throat> again, I'm going to do the immersion immersion program. Typically, when I do this, people become more abundant uh, within the next week or two. They'll they'll come into more money. They'll make some more money or something. I don't know. Something always happens 
where they make some more money. That's usually typically what happens. So, so that's up to you. Uh, again, for those of you that listen to this after the fact, I'm going to program this so that if you listen, to, you're listening to this after uh, afterwards, you also are included in this as well. So again, if you want to, uh, if you're interested in accepting this gift, just put one hand over your heart, <coughs> and um, and then that will signify to the universe that you're accepting of this gift. So here we go. Give me two more minutes. Here we, um, as, uh, and here we go. <clears throat> so uh, did, did you catch did you feel anything from that Jay? Just getting peaceful. What's that? Peaceful? Okay. Getting peaceful, enjoying the moment, thank you. Okay. So now Jay, I'm gonna give you a homework assignment. And and you decide whether you wanna uh go get to the next level or not, that's up to you. But uh, what you might want to do is, uh, number one, clean out your closet. How, what's your closet look like, looking like right now? Uh, full. <laughs> you have room in, in there for your next partner, your, your next lover? Not right now, no. <laughs> well, if, if you want a, 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 a lover in your life, a partner in your life, you might want to consider doing that, Jay. Um, just just cleaning out your closet, making room for her so that that she can ha hang her clothes and and be there and uh, feel comfortable being there. Does that make sense to you? Yep. Okay. The other thing you might want to do is write her a letter. Hey, uh, GI Joe Jane, whatever you want to call her. Uh, hey, lover. Um, I look forward to meeting with you. Please make yourself known and available. For uh, for us to get together soon, so that we can start talking. Um, please let me know who you are. Try consciously, unconsciously, subconsciously, and superconsciously know who you are right away with ease and grace. And then, uh, and um, you know, I, I I would like for you to come over two or three times a week. Um, I'm I'm a kind of busy guy, but but uh, and so two or three times a week is is enough for me for right now. And um, and you're welcome to come over two or three, two or three times a week for, um, and visit with me. Blah 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 blah. And you you said you you lay down the foundation. You lay down the parameters, the boundaries, the guidelines of how you want the relationship to go. And then um, afterwards, which uh, once you're done, um, um, you can uh, take it and then just say a little prayer. You know, universe, I offer up this this uh, this program, this this contract, this agreement. With you uh, to you, uh, and and so that you can bless it, blah blah blah, and then and then you can burn it and let it go, and, and go and, and go from there. Does that make sense to you? <clears throat> yeah. Okay. So it's like that, and um, and then and, and you might even want to say something like you know give it a time frame kind of thing. Uh, you know, um, lover, please show up in my life within the next three months, six months, or whatever. 
so that I know who you are, conscious, unconscious, subconscious, and superconscious. Does that make sense to you? Yes. <clears throat> yeah. Okay. All right, uh, Aloha Jay. Thank you for stopping by. I hope your your questions are answered. And um, good luck with whatever you're you're doing. God bless. And then uh, come back and let us know how you're doing whenever you get a chance. Yeah, grateful for the really. Thank you so much. Okay, thank you. Aloha. 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 So, we're going to go on to the next person. Um, and <clears throat> that's why I, I encourage you guys to come uh, come on early so that the, the, if, if you want to get a good reading, the first one or two people will usually get the, the best reading. So I, I, we have Erico 203. Aloha, you're on the air. Hi. Yes, who, taking my call. who are we talking to? Uh, my name is Michelle. Michelle, uh, uh, how, are you, uh, how, how did you hear about us and, and where are you located at? I am located in California and I've never called in before to your show, but I've, uh, I've gone talk radio, you know, I've uh, seen other shows there, so I finally uh, called you. <laughs> okay. Well, welcome to the show. And we've had lots and lots of people that have come on here. And some people, they like our reading, so they come back about once every year or every six months and, and do a, do another one. So, you know, whatever works, right? So, um, so Michelle, I tell, I tell you what. Um, what I want to do, um, are you still there, Michelle, with us? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Um, what I want to do is play some music, do it, take a little break, and then we're going to come back and talk to you. But before we do that, um, I'd like to know, are you okay with giving us your birth date? Sure. Okay. You want the year, Chip? Yes. Uh, it's 11, 11, 29, 56. November. And I know you, you want the time? No, no, it's okay. That's all I need. So November 29th, 1956, is that correct? That's correct. Okay, so we're going to play a song called J.J. Rade Ramana Hari Abo by David Estes from his album. Um, and for those of you that are watching this on Ustream, because I, I, I am airing this live on Ustream as we speak, so if you want to see see me live, uh, you know, unfortunately I don't have all the software to to bring on all the other rest of the talent, but you can still hear them on Ustream. But anyhow, I'm, I'm bringing on, um, I'm also showing the copy of the album by David Estes. It's called Mulani Dub Kirtan. Um, we're going to be playing a song called, called uh, Radi, uh, JJ Radi Rada, uh, Rama, uh, Rada Ramana Haribo. And we're going to send out love, blessings, healing, dangers of light and love to all those that are, um, that are on, on, the, on, on, the, on the show. On the, in the phone line, the chat room, all our family and friends, all our vehicles and places of residence to take care of us. And, God forbid, to the President of the United States, <laughs> he needs all the help he can get, and all his, all his people. Um, also to all the kids and the family, uh, all the kids and the animals and the plants on the planet, especially the ones that need concern. Uh, anyone, anybody you want to add to that, Michelle? Um, no. Okay. Uh, Reverend Marietta? I just want to send out feeling that there just seems to be so much going on right now, a lot of people in depression. So I would like to send out more healing, hopefully um, help raise the elevation, elevate the feeling of the whole planet to right. a better level. Yeah, um, also to, uh, to all the vets out there, um, I, today I went to an uh, event that had to do with vets. And um, and uh, you know people are just are reaching out uh, for different um, assistance and, and guidance and 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 even at this event uh, that you know um, they they were playing, there's a lot of people there so so there's people are are, look, are re they are reaching out um, and um, they're just uh, they're just working within the means whatever whatever that means so to everyone else in need and concern we will be back in a few minutes and then uh, we'll we'll be talking to Michelle. Now, Michelle, uh, is there any particular? Well, I tell you, well, we'll, we'll, we'll wait till you, you we come back, and then we'll ask you what what question or questions you want to have answered. Are you okay with that?
Yeah, sure. Okay, we will be back. <coughs> Oh, 
Back. This is Andrew Loha live out of Flagstaff, Arizona, with Spiritual Women's Productions on Block Talk Radio and FreeConferencing.com and Newstream, establishing and maintaining right relationships through human values. Aloha and welcome again uh, to tonight's Golden Age Psychic Show. Tonight uh, we uh, we just got done talking with Aloha J, who's, at, who's actually been around <coughs> uh, this show for quite a quite a long time. Um, I've seen him here come in in and out um, several times. Throughout the, I don't know, last couple of years or at least, at least a year or so, and um, and I, I think tonight was the first night that he actually came on to the show for a reading. I don't think he's ever come on to the show for a reading before. But anyhow, um, we talked with him. Uh, he wanted to know some information about career and um, relationships, and so um, he gave him some information that will be helpful. I believe <clears throat> he's going through a seven-year itch uh, with Uranus going into Aries. And uh, going out of Aries um, in March of 2019, and so uh, after that, I think things are going to be shifting in a much better way for him, which will be easier for him. I think I'm, I'm pretty sure. So anyhow, um, um, we also have Michelle with us from all the way out of California. Hello, Michelle. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> Hello. 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 Yeah, uh, we have uh, Michelle uh, uh, with us here now. And um, now um, I got I went ahead and did her put together her chart and also spread for her. Um, <clears throat> Michelle, was there anything in particular you wanted to know, or you wanted just some general information? <clears throat> well, um, I do. I guess I, I mean, um, it's kind of a, like a life phase change going on. But um, right now, I have to say that I'm really trying to straighten up my life and get to a job that is right for me in, in a state <coughs> that's right for me. So I'm, I'm trying to, I'm hoping to, you know, get this job that I had, you know, applied for and I still might get it, but I think it was put on hold and it requires a move to another state. And when I got to thinking about this particular job, it, it really occurred to me that this is where I really need to be. This is the right state. This is you know, cross country. It's in Massachusetts. And this is uh, a good enough job, and it will do a lot for me to be in that area. And uh, that for two years, I've been muddling around trying to figure this out. And so finally, 
um, have a, a clear idea, but I didn't get the job yet, so it's got it's like radio silence at this point. Nobody's giving me a job. Uh -huh. <laughs> but I have hope. <laughs> no, I, I hear you. I hear you want loud and clear, uh, Michelle. Um, have you been going through some crap concerning jobs for the last two, two, three, two or three years or so? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I'm um, I'm gonna give you clue you in on something that's going on that maybe uh, you might need want to understand and know about about yourself. Um, first of all, uh, the planet pla uh, the planet Saturn uh, has uh, went into Sagittarius in December of 2014, which immediately uh, threw you into a, a new energy uh, a lesson plan for about three years having to do with. Uh, Fears concerning yourself, concerning travel, concerning business, concerning money, uh, health, uh, medical systems, and, and stuff, uh, and transportation. Uh, does that make sense to you at all? <clears throat> yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah. And in the middle, um, middle of that was last year. Um, um, in, I believe in June, uh, July, August, August. Um, August of last year, um, I think about, no, well, anyhow, anyhow, last summer was, was the middle of it. Uh, anything significant that you, that you may have come across or gone through, uh, last year? <clears throat> well, um, I, I went through, uh, uh, a real change in a living experience. Okay. So really downsized and it changed and it's been really kind of crummy, but you know, we're trying to keep our heads up and deal with it, but I don't, I don't know, uh, like where I want to go. You know, I get it. Now I do. So. Uh, yeah, I hear you. So I've been in like a limbo state of, yeah. Uh, no, uh. It hasn't been great in any respect. Yeah, it, it, it's been, it's been, it's been. Pretty challenging, I, yeah, is that correct? Oh, yeah. 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 So uh, that, that energy is going to continue forward. Uh, the worst of it's over, I can tell you that right now. Um, but the, the, that energy is, is going to continue until... Um, what, what, wait, 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 wait. Uh, okay, uh, yeah, December, I think it's December of this year. Yeah, December of this year. Uh, and you might want to write this down, Michelle. Uh, December 21st, literally, okay. of this year, Saturn is going to go into Capricorn. Okay? And so when that happens, uh, okay. you're, uh, things, things are probably going to lighten up for you. Uh, and you'll, you'll be in a, in a better space. Um, and you know, you do have kids or you don't have kids, Michelle? I, I do. You only have one or two? <clears throat> I have one, okay. yeah. I have one and she's going through transition too. You know, she's uh, college age. Okay, okay. So, um, so, um, I'm gonna. I'm, I, so you, your question. What What is your question? Con oh, so concerning career. Is that what I heard you say earlier? Yeah. Yeah. I um. I, you know, I just want better. I want a better life. I want more. I want better. I want just better. I, I keep trying for better, and I I don't get better. <laughs> well, uh, uh, so and, and here's a. There's a particular job I, I mean, I, I know that I know where I want to be on this planet. I want to be cross country, uh, in a decent job. I don't even care which one, but a good job, you know, in this particular state. Now I want to go. I want to move. And I want a better life. <laughs> okay, so now you, you're from Massachusetts. Is that what, is that what I heard you say earlier? Well, it's where the job is. Oh, that's I'm where the job is. No, well, where where are you from? Yeah, I'm from Connecticut. Oh, I live in California now. No, no, I hear you. I'm from Connecticut. 
and and the job is in Massachusetts, and and you're willing to go back to the East Coast to to continue there. Is that what I hear you saying? Yeah, and in the meantime, other jobs are coming up, and you know, like interviewing me. So I will feel like I have to take one of the other jobs that are that are not in Massachusetts. You know, just to get out of this dire situation I'm in here. But I really want the one in Massachusetts. Actually, there's more than one in Massachusetts I applied for. Oh, really? Okay. So this is what I'm going to I'm going to tell you, Michelle. First of all, uh, for all of you here on the phone lines in the chat room, uh, if, if, if you really want to uh, ask some of these questions, and, I mean, especially, you know, you know I'm, I'm not around all the time, and neither is Reverend Marietta to ask these questions. Um, and um, sometimes you just need a quick answer. One of the best things that you can do for yourself to help get yourself uh, in the right direction and focused in the right direction um, is get a um, um, what are they um, Reverend Marietta um, it's one of those things on the chain what do you talk uh, you know what I'm talking about I don't know why I can't remember it I don't know what you're talking about uh, one, one of those things that you swirl around on a chain and with a pendant on it <clears throat> pendulum, pendulum. pendulum yeah thank you uh, get a pendulum you can get them online. You can get them at, at, uh, at metaphysical bookstores, maybe bookstores too, regular ones too. Um, and you can probably go online, go to YouTube or somewhere, and find out how to use them. They're really easy to use. And, and start using these because they will help you answer your questions without us having to be around. And not that I, I mind being around. It's just that this is a way to take control over your life. And that's what I that's what I teach uh, in this mentoring program that I do, the 90 Day Ascension Journal. Um, so you uh, you want to be able to have this, uh, be able to make quick decisions. Now sometimes now what the, what the trick with the pendulum is is that you want to be able to uh, make uh, have an answer that's clear and concise, so that you know what the answer is. And if if you're not in your heart space. If you're, if you're ever confused about anything or anyone, it's because you're not in your heart space. And if you're not in your heart space, then you want to figure out how what it takes to get you there. Sometimes, you know, for the third, third, third dimensional, 3D mundane people out there that are just just doing the do, and uh, you know, and they're just they're just doing themselves, and that's it. Uh, you know, getting drunk and going out and partying that that that's enough for them. You know, but but after a while. You know that stops working. It doesn't work anymore. So you know you, you need to go deeper. And so um, you know meditation, prayers, walking, yoga, uh, doing a garden, doing things that that ground you and get you focused are the things that you want to do. Uh, and then ask your question. Uh, um, you know, do a, should I take that job? Should I apply for this job? Should I go out with this guy? Should I should I uh, um, should I go to this concert? You know. And you, you can ask your pendulum, and your pendulum will always be right. So as long as you are in your heart space, focused in your heart space, your pendulum will always give you the correct answer. So um, do you know what I'm talking about, Michelle? Have you ever used a pendulum? Do you have one of those? Um, I don't know if I have one. I mean, is a pendulum any different from like a, uh, something that is just a necklace? That Find something on it. Yeah. Well. Yeah. Well. The, the, um, it, it, it's it, it's it's a pen, it's a pendant on a chain, and basically it it, it, it it's like it's like yeah. an, it's like it's talking to a, a person. Um, so a necklace uh, you wear around your yeah. neck, and yeah, you can talk to your necklace too if you want. But pendulum these pendulums are their their main purpose is to provide you with yes no answers to questions you a ask it, and so. Uh, again, you can try to get them on online or bookstores or whatever. Does that make sense to you? <clears throat> and that way, uh, you'll you'll know better. You know, uh, you'll be able to get more answer, more more answers to your questions in a, a faster, easier way, and without having to rely upon anybody. And especially when you need something right away. So does that make sense to you? Okay. Okay. 
So now, um... You know, that's what seems like it's in hell. What's that? That seems like it's in hell, yeah. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. So now, the other thing you can do is muscle testing. There's some information. Again, you can go on YouTube and learn how to muscle test. Uh, and that will help you as well. Uh, that's another fast, quick, quick, easy way to do, uh, to ask what, you know, get answers to questions you really need. Um, again, it, the best, the best thing to do is to be in your heart space when you ask these questions. Cause, and also, it helps to ask the question in the right, in a, in a, in a correct format, in a, that, that will give you the answer that you need. Um, uh, you know, you can ask a question and you can get a yes or a no. Uh, no, no matter no, no matter what question, no, no matter uh, what what answer you want, you you can get whatever answer you want uh, just by asking the question in in, in certain ways. But if you ask a question and you really need an answer to it, uh, the correct answer to it, then you're going to want to be in your heart space. Now, Reverend Marietta, what do you got for Michelle? Go ahead. <clears throat> okay. Um. Hi, Michelle. <laughs> I look at you, and what I'm seeing with you is I was kind of looking at your aura a little bit while we were talking, you know, <laughs> Andrew was talking to you, and I saw a couple of things, and I almost feel like you're missing them. So I'm just going to kind of quickly give you what I'm getting. First thing I get is I'm picking up a lot of sadness with you. Um, you tend to worry, and it seems like you're worrying all the time, and it seems like you're worrying about everything. <laughs> I just do. You're worried about your daughter. Uh, a lot of different things. You tend to dwell on those kind of things. I'd like to see you get more into a more positive attitude to, to change your future. You need to start really kind of pushing some of that negative stuff away and turning it into positive energy. It will help you go forward. I think you're receiving a lot of information, but you're kind of dis disregarding it. And as you start relaxing into this and doing, I would like to see you do some meditation if you're not doing that already. Uh, to just kind of relax yourself and start realizing that you have a good future ahead of you. Um, I feel you need to work with the stone people, which you might not understand that, but they're the ancestors. Um, you're receiving information from them, so I'd like to see you accept that guidance that's being sent. Uh, I see you coming into a period of very exciting new beginnings for you. Things are really changing. You're receiving that information um, you know, you're only, you already said it. You, you're getting that call to move. And that's where you need to go. You need to find a way to go there because that's reconnecting you with the past. I don't know if you had a connection there in the past, but it feels to me like you were there. Uh, somehow that seems to be more like yeah. going home to you. Is that true? Yeah. 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 And I feel that's like that's true. what you're being called to do. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I was just, uh, yeah, um, yeah, I, it wasn't clear to me, you know, with who I wanted to be and what was right for me, and two years I've been dwelling and thinking about this, and then I realized, you know, that's the place, that's, that's it, and it's enough of home to me, and it's, it, it, it doesn't put me, like, right on top of my family, but it's, uh, close enough to be there. Yeah. Yeah, and I think that's where you need to be. I think that's your healing place. Um, they're telling me that you need to look to the past for inspiration for your future. Uh, and it doesn't mean recent, recent past, older past. And I think that, again, is going back home for you. <coughs> to look at things that made you feel good in the past and start dwelling more on things that were happy and ignore the things that weren't happy for you. Um, I feel like you've got that excellent intuition going on. You've got a little bit of psychic ability there. I'm not sure you're ever listening to it, but I feel like you're getting those messages and you're getting them. <laughs> you're just not paying attention to it. <laughs> so what I want to do is when you start getting, you know, yeah. like you're sitting there and you're really quiet and all of a sudden you kind of start thinking about something. The very first thought that comes to your mind, that's the one you jump on because as soon as you wait a second, your, you know, your physical mind will start overruling that. The very first message that comes to you, the first thought, those are your true thoughts. Those are your true, me true messages coming through from the other side. Uh, I was also picking up something with you, and I don't know if this is supposed to be, I, I feel like it's um, kind of like a, I, I don't know what the word is for it. I guess I'd call it maybe an amulet. 
Do you have anything uh, with an owl in it, an owl statue or anything like that? Any kind of connection there? No. Been a no or a yes? Oh, that's a no. Yeah. Okay. I think I would like to see you get a, like a little statue of an owl. I don't know why, but it feels like that's the wisdom coming to you, the being sense. And I thought, I think that'll help you focus a little bit on that. It's almost like a symbol for messages <coughs> being received. Um, close, uh, first of all, I want you to release some of those burdens you've been hanging on. So it feels like you've had some rough time, and now it's time to kind of get out from under them. Stop worrying about things. Uh, release some of those, so, some of those burdens that have kind of been giving you and start looking really on the positive side of things. Um, Allow your energy to flow. You, you're kind of cycling it. You're holding everything back. Uh, you need more connection with the ancient ones. And um, by getting outside in nature, that will help you get that information. If you think about it, um, you know, the old saying, ashes, ashes, dust to dust, dust. Well, when people pass and the ancient ones pass, they went back to the dirt. You know, they went back to the earth. And that method, wisdom from them are still there. I feel you need to get outside more. You need to get that outdoor type of energy where there's not a lot of cars and noise and those things. You need that peace. That's one of the things you're missing and you need that peace. So, you know, get out, walk in nature, whatever. Um, also kind of, I'm kind of seeing you holding a rock. So I'd like you to learn to meditate if you're not doing that, but I'd like you to hold some kind of stone as you do it, even a crystal or something like that. Some kind of stone that feels right to you. I feel that's going to help you pick up that energy. Um, I also feel that you're on a new path, a new beginning, a new path for you. And I think the door is just starting to open. Um, I think you're going to start studying about ancient things. I don't know. Have you even thought of anything like that yet? No. Okay. I think it's going to be open. I feel like I've done a lot of do that again? Oh, all my life I've done a lot of astrology, but um, you know, I don't do anything other than a little bit of astrology now. Okay, I think you're going to get more into things like that. You're going to get more into studying, uh, like, ancient, maybe knowledge, and history, something like that. I feel like you're going to start getting involved with that. It's slowly going to increase. So where you can't get enough, you'll be very excited. Uh, it's going to help you. Um, as you do that, as you start becoming a little more spiritual and working a little bit more with those energies you already have, you're going to find your whole life is going to become much more peaceful, much happier. You're going to stop worrying because those worries are going to kind of seem unnecessary anymore. I also feel that it's going to bring some abundance to you. Um, there's going to be like it. You're not going to overflow with money, but I feel like you're going to have enough that you're going to feel comfortable. And I think all of this is all going to come together, and I think it's going to come together as you actually physically move to your new location. So uh, I think that's kind of where I want to leave this with you. Um, does this all make sense to you? Yeah, I'm, I'm hoping for this. I'm really hoping for it. And I didn't see a chance. Um, to my happiness and stability, for two years I've been like thinking, because I think so many places, you know, there's no such thing as home, and what's really good for me, and where I, where I, I feel where I would feel inspired and wanted to be, and I finally determined that this is the place, now I just, you know, it's got to happen, you know. I've got to get paid. That's what I'm going to say. Don't give up. You've got to make so, it happen because yeah. that's where you belong. So I want to thank you very much, oh, yeah. uh, Reverend Mar uh, Marietta. Thank you for your uh, your words of uh, wisdom there. Now. And Michelle, um, yeah. um, I, this, this, you know, when people, and, and when I was picking up the same thing, I agree with Reverend Marietta. You know, when people worry, it's, it's because of fear. Uh, it's out of fear. So this is what I'm going to say. I'm going to say to you guys because a, a lot of you know people are scared that they don't know where they're going to go to. They don't. They don't know when they're going to get the next job, the next paycheck. All kinds of stuff coming up about about uh, fear. So this is what I'm going to say to all of you that are here on the phone lines in the chat room. 
and, and this is even and, and this is some of the stuff that I even I go through as well. Um, you know, I, I think, oh no, everything's in shambles. I, I'm I'm going to be having a hard time. So fi finally, what I just do, uh, what I do is I just sit down. And I say, and, and I, I want you, everybody, to to, to that's interested in, in, in participating in this, uh, just 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 repeat out loud with me, uh, wherever you're at. Uh, God, Goddess, Michelle, we, uh, uh, go ahead, and say this out loud with me. Hi. Okay, God, Goddess. Uh, thank you for for your services. Thank you for your services. I appreciate all that you offer me, have offered me. I appreciate that all you offer me and have offered me. And will offer me. And will offer me. And I let go. And I let go. I surrender everything about me to you. I surrender everything about me to you. I surrender all my challenges. I surrender all my challenges. My burdens. My burdens. My bills. My bills. My bills. My bill? My debt? My bill. My debt? And, and success. And success. To you now. To you now. They're all yours. All yours. Or to do with them what you will. Do it from what you will. So I want you to just kind of close your eyes, take a deep breath in through your nose, out through your mouth, breathe in the uh, golden white Christ light into your nose, and breathe out all the negative energies from your mouth through your body, or from, um, from your body through your nose, and go through your mouth, and just, just, just know, and, 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 and so you don't have to worry anymore, Michelle. Uh, that you, you, and, and that, that's what I want you to do. Just imbibe that. That whole idea, ideology, that whole uh, perception, all my burdens, all my debts, all my bills, all my relationships, all my, uh, all my finances, everything about me, I just let it go and surrender it to God, Goddess, and I don't have to worry anymore. So no matter what happens, it's on them. So if some, something bad happens, it's because of them. If something good happens, it's because of them. Well, you know, you, there's a level of, of self-responsibility as well, of course. Uh, but, but, you know, you're doing the best that you can do. All of you are doing the best that you can do. And that's all that, that God got us asked. Anyone asks. Any of your family and friends. As long as you're doing the best that you can do, if you, as long as you're doing you the best that you can do, that's, that's all that anybody can ask for. I can guarantee you that 100%. I give you all permission to be successful. I give you all permission to be healthy and wealthy and fine. I give you all permission to be to be in, 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 in the best to be the best that you can be. Period. I give you all permission to do to do that now. Thank you, Michelle, for coming on with us. Thank you, Reverend Marietta. Thank you all for being here. I appreciate it. Have a God Goddess weekend. Be the love that you are, always have been, and always will be. Aloha. 60 seconds. Aloha. Thank you so much. Thank you for calling in. Thank you for calling in. Thank you for using Blog Talk Radio. Goodbye. Your conference recording has stopped.